So I'm an industrial engineer, and I've had a lot of friends of mine say things like, hey, you should know how to build a bridge, or hey, you should know how rockets work. These are just stereotypes of engineering, and while some engineers know them, not all engineers know them. That's because, just like any other profession, we're not all the same. I'm an industrial engineer. I don't know much about bridges. So today, I'm going to break down a few common types of engineering. One of the most common types of engineering is mechanical engineering. I consider these engineers kind of like the vanilla of engineers. Not because their type of engineering is boring or lacks flavor, but because it's a good base for many other engineers. Most engineers take a few mechanical classes. So mechanical engineers typically design parts that need to be made, they design the machines that make them, and they do these designs on computers using computer-aided design software. Maybe you've heard of AutoCAD. That's a CAD software. They're concerned about forces, what kind of forces are parts going to be under. They're concerned about heat, which is also known as thermodynamics. They care about a lot of other things, but these are some of the basic things they care about in general. Then you have civil engineering. Civil engineers are concerned with geology. They're concerned with forces, much like mechanical, but more so the forces that come from things like tornadoes, hurricanes, the expansion and contraction of materials because of heat changes. They care about hydraulics, so liquids. You know, if you're building something in the water, you're going to care about how the water affects it. They care about materials, too. So you can see the overlap between civil and mechanical, but civil engineers are a lot more focused on things that are outside. Then you have electrical engineering. Electrical engineers do a lot of work with circuits. They do a lot of work with linear algebra and matrices. They do a lot of work with programming. The electrical engineers I worked with in industry did a lot of programming on things called PLCs or they did PLC programming. If you have a robot arm that's moving something around, you're probably going to need an electrical engineer to do the programming. They care a lot about logic. Is the switch normally open? Is it normally closed? How is the system going to be wired together? That is electrical engineering. Then you have industrial engineering. I'm an industrial engineer. So I'm going to do a lot more videos on these concepts. Industrial engineers kind of break down into two categories. A lot of them end up focusing on processes, so they become process engineers or manufacturing engineers, or they go into quality and become a quality engineer. So they're concerned with processes, planning something, doing it, checking on it, and improving it. They care a lot about continuously improving things to save money, to save time, because time is money. Industrial engineers care a lot about human factors, which is just a fancy way of saying ergonomics. Are things comfortable for the operators? They care about quality, is something good or bad, and they care about the time it takes to make a product. So they do time studies, which often freak out the people on the floor. You have chemical engineering. Chemical engineers obviously care a lot about chemistry. If your college offers a bunch of different types of chemistry, chances are your chemical engineers have taken all of it. Chemical engineers care a lot about fluid flow. They care a lot about materials, but more so the chemical reactions of those materials, the specifics of the materials on the chemical level. A lot of the chemical engineers I have known have gone on to work at paper mills. So like printer paper or receipt paper, Georgia Pacific, International Paper, those companies hire a lot of chemical engineers. The last type of engineering I'm going to be discussing today is aerospace engineering. This isn't a very common engineering, but I think it's important to note because this is one that a lot of people think of when they think of engineering. Someone says, hey, you're an engineer. You design planes or rocket ships. No, that's an aerospace engineer. Aerospace engineers care a lot about how wind interacts with objects, how it flows around them. That's aerodynamics. They care a lot about how fluids operate under pressure. That's fluid dynamics. 
I put math on here not because other engineers don't use math, but aerospace engineers use very high level math. It's a very math intense field. Aerospace engineering probably has the highest dropout rate of all engineers, all types of engineering. So those are six common types of engineering that I went over today. There's many more, but at least now you have an idea of what some engineers do and how we're different.